Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Kind of an overcast and humid morning here in North Carolina. Hope you guys are up and ready for the day. Already done that morning routine. Tell me down here in the comments, what's for dinner tonight? Do you know what you have on your menu plan yet? Or do you need to spend a few minutes today taking a look at that? I've already got my menu plan worked out for the day and we are having hamburgers tonight and I'll be having spinach salad. So got that all figured out and I'm ready to go on the day. Sink is shiny. I need to start a load of laundry. Today's Monday, so that means the home blessing is to wash sheets. So need to get those going on the day. We're gonna work on schoolwork this morning, do a couple of decluttering missions, and have a fantastic morning. I'm gonna go sofa and chair diving today, guys. And if you've not done this mission in a while, you might be surprised at what you find. So pull those um, cushions off your sofas, out of the chairs, have your vacuum cleaner handy, and see what you find down in there. Good morning, Mary. Thanks for joining me today. There's all kinds of treasures that find their way down into those sofa cushions. Sometimes there's things down there that we didn't even know had landed there. We just didn't know where they were. So involve your kids with this one. It's a fun one for kids to go treasure hunting and let them keep the loose change that they find. Good morning, Nancy. How are you today? And we're just gonna have fun this week. Are you ready to start your Monday off on a strong note Get yourself set up for a fantastic week. That's what I love about Monday. I make it that day that I get the week started off. So if I get derailed later in the week by appointments, by sick kids, or just a change in our schedule, I've started the week off strong on Monday. So I really strive to get things rolling on Monday and I don't let appointments pull me out as much as possible. Nancy says that she finds couch aliens. That's a good way to put it. And Mary says she is babysitting some twins today. Nice. I enjoy having um, time with little ones, especially now that all my kids are bigger. So on Sundays, I take care of the little ones in the nursery and get those little baby snuggles in. And then I'm back to those big kids when I get back home. So it's a nice balance for me because I really do enjoy that little stage of having little ones around. So probably a good thing I had six kids, right? The boys have been enjoying their new um, app this year that we're using for school. So I think it was a good time for us to change and try something new. We've done different things over the years, lots of hands-on learning when they were little. And now that they're getting bigger, I've got two in high school using an app with some videos and online um, components has really been nice because it gives them something different to do and a different way of getting the information. It also has freed me up to where I'm not balancing so many different lessons. Vicki wants to know what app it is. It's called Acellus. It's um, Power Homeschool. It's $25 a month per student and they can take up to six classes in high school. So I'm trying to divide it up where they're doing four classes over the course of the first semester, four classes over the course of the second semester, and then get eight courses in for the year is the goal. So I'm enjoying the way that it's working out for me. It tracks our progress, shows us where we're at on completion, grades, it shows me how much time they're spending per subject. So I'm really liking the additional information I'm getting and I feel like it's doing a, a good job with teaching the lessons too. So that's what we've been doing. I'll drop a link down here um, later when I finish this up. It, I don't have an affiliate link. I don't get paid for talking about it. It's just something that's helped us out this year and gave us a little change of pace. So Vicki said they've added teaching textbooks. I've heard good things about that program as well. And lots of kids who have struggled in math do really well with the teaching textbooks approach. So, awesome job. You guys, enjoy your Monday. Start off strong. If there are things kind of laying about that are clutter from the weekend because we don't do a lot around the house on Sunday, do a five minute pickup mission. Take care of that launch pad area, the kitchen island, the table that's near the door where people come in. Wherever it is that you've got some clutter, 
spend five minutes just doing a quick pickup drill. Turn on some quick music, set the timer, and involve the kids. Divide and conquer if you've got several areas that need to be picked up. But getting that clutter picked up first thing on Monday, getting those sheets going, really helps set the tone for your week and you feel like you've gotten started on the week. And if you get derailed later in the week, it's okay. You had a strong start, right? Have a fantastic Monday, everybody. I'll be back in the morning, but it'll be bright and early. I've got an appointment at 8 in the morning. So I will be here probably about 7.15, do a quick video, and get on with my day. See you guys then.